This is News from Bed. Hi, this is News from Bed. I'm in bed and this is the news. A dolphin with thumbs was spotted off the coast of Greece. This coming less than a month. (laughs) I made a face to you and I, I laughed. All right. A dolphin with thumbs was spotted off the coast of Greece. This coming less than a month after a dolphin with a leather jacket was spotted on the cast of Greece. Mark Zuckerberg has begun construction on a hundred million dollar underground bunker. The bunker is supposed to be so well hidden that even Charles Barkley won't be able to find it. Remember how bad he is at golf? Speaking of golf, a Minneapolis store clerk was killed after being impaled by a golf club. While the man who killed the store clerk is still on the run, he did suffer a two-stroke penalty. A major helium deposit was discovered in Minnesota this past weekend. Economists warn that this could spark the beginning of some very serious inflation. That's a pretty, that's just cute, cute. Clever. (laughs) (laughs) A 150 million year old giant skull belonging to a pliosaur was discovered in Dorset Cliffs. Scientists believe this could lead to the discovery of the notorious two pliosaur, which is much softer on the tushy. <laughs> Pantone's color of the year this year is peach fuzz. And Pantone's colored of the year is ice spice. <laughs> Lastly, Julia Roberts revealed to Andy Cohen that the hardest drug she's ever done was mushrooms. The hardest drug I've ever done still remains prison rape. This has been News from Bed. Good night. (sighs) Wow, this is kind of nice. It is pretty cozy. Kiwi, I actually saw, I wanted to tell you this because... Oh, tell me. On the first night of Hanukkah, there was a guy... Because you know all this Israel Palestine stuff. Sure. It's pretty uh, tough out there for the Jays. And there was a guy who got stabbed on the first night of Hanukkah. That's not good. Uh, in an anti Semitic way. Like, okay. I think he yelled a slur. And all I could think of damn, one night down, seven crazy nights to go. You were going to tell me that? <laughs> 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 what, like, you, you were going to text me that? Yeah, it was a gonna... joke. No, you should have. I guess I'm kind of glad you didn't. But that's that's good. That's that's funny. Yeah, it's not bad. It, it does feel nice to a lot of people to be their like resident Jew in their lives, you know? Because <laughs> yeah. I feel like I'm not special anymore. But it turns out I think I still am. When I think sure. about you, Kiwi, I don't even think Jew. I'm sure you do. No, Everybody I don't. does. What I else is there? I'm a piece of shit. You're There's a great dancer. Sometimes you do bits and then you get angry oh, in your yeah. bits. A lot of the time. And they <laughs> scare me a little bit. Sorry. I think about that. Sorry about that. <laughs> Um, hair on this. Yeah, I have a hair on the bed right here. I just made my right dog. Er, I just made. Sh- shut up, guys! I'm sorry, talking. Sorry. Shut up. Jew is definitely up there. It's, it's probably top five first things you think of. With yeah. you? No. Yeah, easily. I no. Styles. Thank you. I think of uh, style. Style like style. No, like uh, <laughs> like I'm wearing a sweater right now. Yeah, you're wearing a style. Stop it. Wait, nobody wears the style like me. When you say style, do you mean the no, eye style? Patty, Patty and I, uh, we got him. Oh, do you guys get bad styles? Do you think Einstein had bad, <laughs> <laughs> bad styles? Einstein, <laughs> that's good. I never you think thought he was about a that. German guy who had styles on his eye. I feel like back then we didn't have styles like in the world. You know, it's a new thing because of trains and dirt and all that stuff. And automobiles new. and planes, yeah. antibiotics. You know, overprescribed. John Candy. Yeah. John Candy. Mm-hmm. Oh, Patty. <laughs> I got so much to um, Yeah, man. I think we should actually go back to the original position. Just yeah, I'm too comfortable. You're talking... You, you realize when you say that, you're talking just to me. <laughs> okay, do you know what? I just yeah. want you to realize you that. Guys, no, no. You, guys that stare, you guys no, no, stare... You guys stay no, where no, you are. No, it's the Stop least it. I could... No, it's the least I could... No, you like this. Oh, man. Okay, this is good. All right, fine. Just because I want to... I've got to give the people my feet. I told them. Yo, can one of you uh, guys pass me the tea? Yeah, I'm not going back there. 
Thanks, uh, only if you spill the tea. <laughs> I'm trying not to. Tell me the last time that you ejaculated in your oh, pants. Oh, the tea. In my pants, never. Dude, who never? Is ev nobody's ever done that. Like an yeah, that's an no SNL one's ever thing. done that. You've come in your pants? Yes. What are you, 11? Uh, <laughs> I was. wasn't. I was 20. You were 20 when you came in your pants? Uh-huh. What happened? Uh, I was in uh, I was in college, not to brag, but I was a theater major. Of course. And uh, only, I think, one of three straight Thank theater major majors. So awesome. the women, they wanted it. But you couldn't give it to him because your pants were full of jizz? <laughs> yeah, she started... I, I went back to her her dorm, and she started, like, rubbing it over the jeans. Oh, nice. And I creamed. No, but that's... Oh, that's not, I think of in your pants is like, you did it. You were stimmed outside the pants. You got an OTPHJ over the pants hand job. Not my first, but the first yeah. one I, I EJ'd oh, from. Oh, that's um, and then I told her I had to go because my grandma was sick. Oh wow! Yeah, was she sick? Of course. I mean, not. she was dead. You know? <laughs> the sickest, the most sick, you the can most be. sick you can be. Mm -hmm. yeah. I was. Uh, this is a little <sighs> tangent here, but uh, do you know? Um, have you guys seen Harry Potter or read Harry Potter? I'm glad I'm you a asked. Huge I'm Harry Potter fan. I, I was thinking about it. this the other day. You know how there's that spell Avada Kedavra, uh -huh. no. and it like kills people. It mm -hmm. kills people. Yeah, it's like the death spell. Oh, okay. And uh, it's like what ha what they used on Harry at the beginning of the movie oh, yeah. when he was a baby. And it bounced off and killed like Voldemort or whatever. Because mm -hmm. uh, Harry had his mother's love, like uh -huh. strong love from his mother. She sacrificed herself. Yeah. yeah. It's like, doesn't uh, that make that spell pretty unreliable? If, it, if love can stop it. That it is can be stopped by love. That's a really no, but it good killed point. Her. No, because it still killed her nonetheless. No, but no it killed the parents, but on Harry. But the you death have spell to still... sacrifice yourself uh, in order to save someone else. So basically what J.K. Rowling is saying is that everyone else who was killed by Avada Kedavra is a fucking selfish piece of shit. Yeah, yeah. essentially. Well, it still yeah. killed Not selfish, somebody. but they didn't have a loving family. Yeah, well, they weren't willing to sacrifice themselves. They're like, "Don't fucking kill me." Yeah, let me just say this: it's a death spell, and it still kills people, nonetheless. So yeah. it works, just not on the person you want it to work on. And that one time, wait, I guess, I guess, yeah, no, no it's true. Someone's got to die. Someone's gonna die, and that's yeah. all you really want if you're. And Voldemort. here's my thought: because it's just a spell, anyone can say the spell, and if they have a wand, they can kill people. Mm. Which means that every person who has a wand has the capability of doing that. No. No. Why? why? No. Because you've got to really <laughs> mean it. They yeah. say in the fourth book, Mad Eye tells you you got to mean it. He says, if any of you tried to kill me with a vodka Kedavra, you probably only manage a nosebleed because you you got to mean it. <laughs> <laughs> you got to feel the death. Wow. Yeah. Like, I don't Scary. Think, I can say with a lot of confidence. That if both of you were magic wizards with wands pointed at me, you cannot kill me. No. I'm too cute. It's fairly obvious. <laughs> Got him. But I think it brings up an interesting solution to a real life problem, which is if we give everyone in the world guns mm -hmm. and they fire every single time they say the N-word, oh. white people will stop using the N-word. Dude, you've been writing some crazy bits in your time off. And black people will all die. <laughs> but the white people thing is real, right? Well, if you're training us like dogs, yeah. <laughs> you're not going to like whisper the N-word in a grocery store if you fire around what do you into mean the white... cereal department. What do you mean white people will but, but say it's the N-word? It's probably, wouldn't it backfire though? Because every time you heard a gunshot, wouldn't you involuntarily be like, N-word, oh my God. Wait, and then your gun fires? Yeah. Or you just associate it to the N-word not killing. Yeah, I didn't... Th I wasn't thinking killing. I was thinking of, like, Wild West, like... Like, <laughs> bow, bow, bow! Like, yeah. I was thinking you shoot the gun every time you say it to let people around you know that you said it. And then socially, you become taboo. Because it's like, that guy... Not only did he shoot... A gun yeah. in a child hospital. He also said the N word in a children's hospital. It would make abortions interesting. The first one is more notable, though, of those two things. What saying the N word? No, the gun. 
firing the gun. Yeah, what's a what's a bigger taboo? Saying the N word or having a gun? Firing a gun because then you're fitting the white guy stereotype. Which I guess saying the N word is also a white guy stereotype. Didn't having a gun used to be a black guy? Yeah, stereotype? yeah, totally. I also think shifted. saying the N word is a black guy stereotype. Yeah, yeah. It's funny too. Also, school shooters. God, they're so cool. <laughs> like everybody thinks about like school shooters are like white guys now, mm-hmm. but like school shoot like. It's not like there's never been a school shooter in like a black school before. Yeah. Know? People used to bring guns to my high school. Yeah. Did you go to a black school, Kiwi? Dominican. So, yeah, I guess. Yeah. That's pretty cool, man. That's it's very, very cool. cool of you. Let's talk about it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did, you, wasn't your first how, kiss with a black woman? Nia. Her name no. was Nia? You kissed no. Bill Burr's no, wife? Uh, yeah. Oh, her name is Nia. No, it was Katie. She was Asian. Oh. <laughs> Katie the lady. Okay, right. let's role Katie play Elliot. that. Come here. She was found on the street when she was like a baby in China. <laughs> no way. Yeah, by myself. <laughs> I thought you were going to say she was found on the street weeks after you guys <laughs> just dead. <laughs> <laughs> Let it out. Drink some I tea. I washed my hands, God. I feel terrible. How is the tea? Is it good? No, it's fantastic, man. Nice. You offered him tea? Yeah, we, he was here a little he didn't early. Offer me. So. I asked for it. Yeah, he yeah, asked I'm, for tea. I'm sorry, I don't get tea because someone killed himself. You could have a. Li- I have a, some water. Can no, I, I don't. I no, some no. Water. I'm just. I'm being. I'm. I have FOMO. Oh, okay. Yeah, dude. On the tea. Don't worry. There wasn't. You. You didn't. Well, I mean. I have a. Would you rather? Okay. Oh. Would you rather? Have one hand that's always sticky. It's your writing hand. I already have that. <laughs> or would you always... He brought this mic with him. Is that your mic? <laughs> yeah. yeah it's Was it a mic. hot mic? No, it's my sticky mic. Why did you make a sizzle sound? <laughs> it's sticky. <laughs> Wait, so is sticky... By the hand... way, <laughs> is... is the bell loud enough that you can hear it? Oh, absolutely. Yours is making noise. Yeah, I have a very belly one, and it freaks me out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I move my head oh, wait, a lot. So, so what is this? Uh, you have a sticky hand. You either have sticky hand, or you have perpetual morning breath. Oh. Like that Ooh. gross taste in your mouth. Sure. Can, I, can we ask questions? Of course. Can you quell... The stench of the breath to others around you, but it's still always going to taste okay to you. Like mm. that's fine. I had acid reflux for like two years one time. Why don't you take Pepsid? Um, I took a little bit of that, but then it was. Uh, I think it's like bad to take too much of it. I've taken it for like how old am I now? Twenty six for eight years continuously. <laughs> really, I'm fine. I don't like having a dependency <laughs> on a uh, a drug. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs> the be- <laughs> funny. I think I would go with the uh, the breath. I just uh, the sticky hand does not work, dude. That's interesting. You're shaking someone's hand as you get off. If it were my stage. left hand, I would take the breath though, because it's your left hand. You're already not using it. It's, yeah, That's it's your true. predominant hand though. Is sticky. No, I'm a lefty. It's your predominant. Could I, hand. <laughs> could I put yeah. a? Uh, could I pull a, a glove over it? No one has asked that question before. Wow. That's, you don't want to be the one glove guy. You can be the one glove, but it has uh, to be sequin glove. That's fine. I'm worried about the stench of the hand. I think the stench of the hand on a glove for your entire life will outweigh the uh, the breath. Plus, mm. Well, plus it's sticky, right? So it's going to be an uncomfortable feeling in the glove. It's going to feel like there's jelly in the glove constantly. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I gotta go breath, dude. You're going breath? Okay. Yeah. How hand, about you? Yeah, You're going hand? Left, left hand, yeah. Wow, okay. so we got... What about you? What's your side? I'd probably go hand. Really? I'd probably yeah. go hand and then work with children. Yeah. Yeah, because your hands are already sticky if you were. Oh, kids. okay. Yeah. Or you could be one of those guys that, like, stick... You know the guys who stick their hand in a cow and, like, pull out all that, like, goop? You farm mean hand. someone <laughs> giving, helping that a cow a give hand. birth? There's like these Just people who uh, farm hands. Those are farm hands. I guess they're farm hands, yeah. but they're like there's like I'll a, show you a farm. No hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, there's like a uh, this group of people who like do tests on cows, mm. and they have they put like this flap on the cow, mm. and they like put this material or they like it like enters into the stomach so they can like take out whatever they're eating to see like oh. how it's digesting. Something so they open up the cow. 
because they're not vaginally, my cousin used to do they're this. not vaginally country penetrating patty. country patty country patty used to do this his name that's is his name? patty from the country yeah. that was the last when we were all going to see the beyonce movie together you told me country patty yeah country patty he's like is a cooler version of me his name's patty his name's casey Okay, because this country? is just straight out of Always Philadelphia. Yeah, it's named it's after always that. Philadelphia. <laughs> it's a, yeah, it is it's always Philadelphia, name, yeah. though. It's In not always sunny. It's always Philly, though. Yeah, people called him that because I was like, I was City Patty, and Country <sighs> Patty was just cooler and better and uh, more handsome. Is he handsome? Yeah. Oh, I'll be the judge. Oh, I'll be dude. The judge well, you want to see a picture? I do. <laughs> Thank you for offering. Well, he's always working on farms, so you got to yeah. imagine. He's yeah, you get tight. farm, farm handsome. <laughs> he's yeah, tight. Farm handsome is like the best kind. Imagine just like it's a girl rugged. It's definitely the, the kind. The it's definitely the kind that uh, like women want. Well, know? listen, man, you got to hang out with these annoying girls who don't want that. You know, like people around. I don't know. <sighs> do all women want farm guy? I I kind of most do. I spent a lot of time near farms growing up. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. I'm no, sorry. it's accurate. What I'm do you sorry. mean near farms? <laughs> like farm adjacent? <laughs> like you grew up like around a farm? Yeah, That's I him. I would spend. Yeah, yeah. let me see. Hot <laughs> no. <patty. laughs> That's him and his wife. No, not he's a good. A, I don't. I think more. you're more attractive than him. No, right? no, no. Wait till you Absolutely. see his body. What, you see? <laughs> what about this? Wakeboarding. Okay, yeah, he's no, wearing he's a life hot. jacket. He's wearing a life jacket. Yeah, but that's, let me see the fucking. Bod. There's nothing hotter than. Does he have six yourself. pack? Does he have an abs? Oh yeah, he's nice. And that is that his wife? Oh that's his wife. damn! Yeah, he's yeah. fucking. Stacked. They're a nice looking couple, dude. It's fun having a hot cousin. Mm -hmm. yeah. I never had like a, a hot female cousin that I wanted to bang. Me neither. <laughs> I have one hot cousin, but she lives in Norway. Oh, that's oh, hot. Oh, wow. Yeah. There's no way you're getting my pussy. Yeah. Because you are related. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I you actually, said you wanted to go to Norway, right? Yeah, to visit my cousins. Mm. But not for that. <laughs> okay. I, feel I, like, don't, I don't want to fuck I my recall cousins. the last time I talked to you about this. You said you want to shave your beard and go to Norway so you can, quote unquote, clean up. I thought you were going to say so you can, quote unquote, have sex with your cousin. <laughs> well, let's read between the lines there. You said clean up. There's a lot of hot mm. Norwegian women. Sure. Only most of them are my cousin. Yeah. Everyone's your cousin, man. Yeah. Everybody my you cousin. Know? What's up, cuz? Uh, Primo. Primo. Tio. You should go, dude. What's the worst that could happen? No, How do you I, even get to Norway? Do you have to like crew a uh, a ship? Yes, like you, a wooden ship. What you do? You is have you... to build the ship, <laughs> yeah. and you have to sail that ship until you find a frigate. And you have to ca carve like an oxen. On yeah, the doesn't front? frigate sound like you could yell in anger? It's pr like what is a frigate. It sounds Stop like being such a frigate. Yeah, it it, sound, like it sounds like the button you don't hope hope they say when you have a bop it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> frigate, you turn it over, there's just a hole. That's oh. funny. Guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> Twisted, spin it, frigate, fuck! Dude, fuck me! Sorry in advance, I'm not going to be my usual uh, ball of personality and fun. Because I don't I don't <laughs> feel well, so that's my bad. That's I'm fine. Apologies in advance. You also, I'm looking at your eye. You have a style on the you top do have and a bottom. Style. You have a lot of styles. What, what, what did I just say? You got. <laughs> what did I just say? <laughs> you got to figure this out. I'm doing my best. The sty thing is like. Also, they're not active, dude. They're passive. <laughs> they are as active as. No, the they're fucking... gone. Hey, this do you one. Mind if I chill this in your one eye? is bad. This yeah. one's bad. The top this is one, always worse than the bottom. The bottom's not as bad because this one was it's not a sty. It's actually blephritis. 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 God bless huge. you. Yeah. <laughs> Blephritis, I hardly even know. <laughs> yeah, dude, it was really bad. It got so bad so fast. Yeah, and they're they're just, they're itchy too. They're, I just know the the struggle. I hated those. Yeah. I I get yeah, I get yeah. a sty once in a blue moon. Yeah. Yeah. Did you? Which have is good because the moon is never blue. It's almost never blue. Yeah, never once. Unless, 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 <laughs> unless. You go to the movies Unless and get those you walk 3D. Out of, yeah, and close one eye. As yeah. Even. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's a blue yeah. moon. Fuck. There haven't uh, been any 3D movies in a long time. That's not true. No, there was... Um, <laughs> You're right. I saw Avatar. <laughs> yeah, Avatar. I saw Titanic coming back in 3D. I just wow. saw one recently. Yeah. Uh, I forget. I think... Oh, you know which one I saw? I saw... Um, Barbie? I Oppenheimer. 
in 3D. Oh, they didn't have that in 3D, did they? Yeah, they they, they did. That's what, talk, what about the that's the worst 3D movie you could have. It's the worst movie in Dude, general. Dude, you had uh what's her face's dark dark nipples oh, right true. in your Fucking face. Florence Pugh. Yeah. Dude, were you expecting her nipples to be that dark? No. Cuz no. they're straight up Hershey kisses. Like I found her hot until I found I saw her nipples. You don't like black really? nipples? I not on a pale woman. I think mm. it's nice. I, I don't like the juxtaposition. I love a dark nipple if you have a darker skin tone. Uh, it's common with pregnancy. The nipples get dark. The tits get big. The attitude gets unruly. <laughs> and that's why I believe in abortion. <laughs> <laughs> you believe in abortion because you don't like the nipples? Yeah. If, your... <laughs> I'm, I'm going to tell my lady when she agrees to see me, I'm going to say, hey, it's either me or the baby. <laughs> <laughs> I would genuinely, I think, have that. I could never have a kid because I would just get so jealous of attention and stuff, you know? Wow. Anyway, guys, um, <laughs> I saw Wonka came out. Dude. Did you see it? I saw I'm it. What did you think? You know who didn't see it? <laughs> why didn't you see it? <laughs> Tell him, Patty. What Tell happened? him why, I, why on a Friday I... night I wanted to see it so bad. <laughs> I used uh, I have I'm Regal a Regal me member too, baby, and I used Denim's name to watch it with Michael Good because he hit me up. You don't have Regal Unlimited. I do, okay. but like Denim, I have as a friend, so I got Michael's ticket for free. Oh, nice! But I used Denim's name, and I get a text from Denim. He's like, "Oh, going to see Wonka? I see." Yeah, wait. Yeah, let and me. He's get... gonna go to the movies, and let I me fucking s- cock block. You're him. a dick. You might have. You, you have to invite him. For I him. wonk. I wonked him. Yeah, I, I did. I no invite. Let the me way. set the scene, eh? <laughs> let me set the scene. Dude. It's a Saturday night. I'm hanging out with Levi White. He's a regular on your show. Great guy. Yeah, he's got a fat, fat cock, and uh, he said, "I'm gonna go home because I have a girlfriend who perpetually loves me, and you're all alone." I said, "Yeah, you're right. I'm gonna go watch Wonka by myself." And I go, and I'm like, why is Wonka $20? Oh, that's crazy, dude. Yeah. Also, I hate to say it. It was fantastic. It was good. I'm it going tonight. Good. Oh, you're going dude, tonight? Oh, you're in for a treat. I'm dude. going yeah. tonight. You you told me a part about Keegan-Michael Key. That, that, <laughs> yes, yeah, dude. That's the only part that I want to see. Dude, we didn't know it was a musical, though. Oh, it's yeah. A fucking I didn't musical. know it was a musical. Oh, yeah, Nobody that. said it was a musical. Does Timothy have a good voice? Dude. He's, he He's got a fine voice. I got to say, right. the first like right. 30 minutes of the movie, I was like, he might be the worst actor I've ever Stop seen. Stop it. You're wrong. He's really bad Patty, at acting. You know, you know I love you. You're wrong. I don't know if he was trying to like no. coax the no. Gene Wilder out of his like. You're wrong. Do you, you know? think Kristen Stewart no, is a good actress? What? Who cares? <laughs> what? <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> Timothy Chamelet is great. He's not great. No. Yes, he is. He's not I, think I haven't Kristen seen Fish Stewart. Out of Water or Call Me By Your Name or whatever, but Timothy Chamelet is great in that movie. He's. He, oh, I thought that was my phone. No, he's it's this. He does. He like act. He has a lot of weird choices. Yeah, it's, it's like great. very. It's not great. It's an impulse. Patty, I don't. I took I, acting one one. You do an impulse. You act on the impulse, then you commit to it. I think there could have been a different Wonka that was better. Like whom? I yeah, I think Idris maybe. Elba. Yeah, oh, dude! Talk Dark about chocolate. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. this Wonka is ninety eight percent cacao. <laughs> Open up, bitch, dude. I cried at the part with the I mom. Cry, I cried, I too. cried big time. Big I tears. Could you not spoil it for me? Yeah. Sorry, could you fine. not? Could, if you are going to talk. No, <laughs> guys. Because now I don't so feel. No, big, stop it. Big penis. Big penis. Up wonk. In, in, in my face. He puts the willy in. in <laughs> wonk. Willy wonk. The whole time I was like, I well, can't believe it. Well, that was not even it. worth yeah. me going well. to see. Well, it is. You should see the extended cut, if you know oh. what I'm saying. So he's circumcised. Yes. Dude, it was so grand. It was just grand. Dude, yeah. Mr. Bean was in it. Mr. Bean's He was in incredible. It. Stop it. He's Stop the trailer. It. <laughs> I haven't seen the trailers. Right, last thing. <laughs> The evil villain Slughorn and them are the best part of the movie. They can are you, the best. Can you the best. stop? It's just can a good you thing. Stop it's just talking? a good thing. All right. All I just like very last thing. The black guy was <laughs> great. Yeah. Very last thing. <laughs> when the Oompa Loompa turns on him at the end, that's the last thing. <laughs> oh yeah. You. Yeah. I hate yeah. both. But it's because they're small and untrustworthy. Dude, we the Oompa Loompa is eight inches. Yeah. That was the trigger for me. Yeah. Yeah, the Oompa Loompa has a bigger penis than Ari Kaplan. <laughs> Oompa Loompa has a bigger Ari penis played than the Oompa, the Oompa Loompa. <laughs> Ari's, Ari's penis dead. played the Oompa Loompa. Hey, uh, do you think, <laughs> can I get some chocolate? What? <laughs> I really hope he doesn't watch this. Oompa Loompa <laughs> doopity. Doopity Dude, which part did you cry at? I swear I'm handsome. <laughs>
daddy. <laughs> That's what he's always saying. Ari says, "No, that? dude, I am handsome." He's cute. Now I feel bad. He wasn't invited, and now you're just shitting on him. It's I not like, like you, Ari. I invited We're good him and friends, then said, Ari. "No, yeah, it's, he's fine." He, he, what? He wasn't invited on... to what? To this. Oh, you were going to invite him and Denim? I was going to invite him and Denim, but then uh, I was fun. like, should we mix it up? And he's like, what about Kiwi? And I was like... Yeah, I, I, I advocated for you. Yeah, I talked and to now you. Now you come on this fucking show and, spoil and you Wonka. spoil Wonka. It's the least oh, I could do. Oh, I'm sick. I don't it's... have energy. By the way, here are all Wonka's secrets. Okay, it was a really good movie, and it's the least I could do. It's, it's, yes, it's, 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 it was great. Dude. You're seeing it tonight? Let me tell you all about it. Dude, you're gonna like it. You're I gonna think, love uh, it. You're gonna love it. But don't set your expectations, like, you know, keep it. Even what you should it. do is make sure you have lots of chocolate going into the movie. Oh, yeah. oh I'm on a diet. Really? That's a bad movie to see on a diet, dude. Yeah. Because it's like watching The Whale. I'm gonna bring, oh. I bought a lard. No, it's the opposite of the whale. <laughs> Did you whale. bring a pizza into I the whale? <laughs> <laughs> and my own ham. I, I want a, the real experience. I brought a, a, a large pizza and uh, a bottle of ranch and a packet of ham. That's gross, dude. And then as I started eating it, I just had a guy dressed up as a pizza delivery guy just staring at me in <laughs> shock. <laughs> That's the whale 4D. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I never saw that. That's the 4D experience. I'm not going to watch the whale. Fuck that. Do you never see it? No. I oh, want to see it so bad. good. Dude, I love acting. Your now, nose so is running a little. Do you want a little? Maybe you're yeah. sweat. Are you hot? <laughs> I am wearing a lot of I, I have a little. I uh, have energy. It's good. I'm do I have like back. some soft toilet paper? Do you want to? Yeah, whatever. Da sorry. Let me dab you up. <laughs> <laughs> you get some tea. You get some toilet I paper. Feel, I'm, being, I'm being rude. No, here. I'm fine, you know, Patty. I'm being rude. Yeah, you're Denim, fine. you're going to love this movie. <laughs> I can't believe you've never you. seen The Whale. The Whale's. It's so sad. <laughs> You're so wet. Why are you so wet? You are I'm damp. Having I'm having fun. Is that, <laughs> is that against the law? Are your fingers getting wrinkly? I have that's styes, what I want. Styes on my fingers. Yeah, I want a podcast so fun that my fingers get wrinkly. <laughs> like they used to in the shower. <laughs> yeah. Because you have, you know, when your mom would say, I just laughed like so you're hard I farted fun. a little bit. <laughs> oh, God. Dude, no, this is just the first fun thing I've done do all you have, day. Wait, do you have any farts in you? In a little bit, yeah. You gotta let me know because we're gonna set one on fire. No. Have you ever done that? No. Oh my god. Have you ever done a blue angel? No, because they can go back up in you. No, they can't. The yes, pants they can. no the pants stop it. Okay. I've done this many time with friends. So I might have You have to go like this. You have to position yourself like this and hold the lighter like right here and then just and it goes I might have a fart pretty soon, honestly. I've been All eating right. a lot of hard boiled eggs. Okay. Yeah. You're gonna have to like position yourself a little bit. Well, I don't have one coming I'm right now. I'm scared, dude. What if the house catches on fire? Best podcast ever. <laughs> I guess I'm. I'm out of here. That's why I don't have the green screen because I'm uh, showing the. I'm leaving, finding a new apartment studio. We're gonna have when a studio leaving? situation. There. Wait, a studio? Not Aren't a studio they... apartment, but like we're gonna try to build a podcast studio. Oh, and do one together. Do you have, like... And just have like no, just for filming and stuff. Oh, that's awesome. I dude. bullied my roommate into getting rid of his dog. Oh, good wow. for you. Yeah, the dog is gone. Where is the dog now? Uh, at a shelter. Preferably kill. <laughs> what kind of dog was it? It was uh, a Doberman mix. Very Ooh, cute. Very, cute. very cute. Why did it... Wait, what happened? Why did you want the dog gone? Uh, no, she just... She wasn't being It was cared. a she? You bullied a woman into getting rid of her dog? No, the bullied dog was a she. Dog the dog to make her feel better about all woman. the time she was The dog raving? was a goddamn woman. <laughs> oh, okay. The dog was okay? a woman. A bitch, as a bitch, they say. yeah, yeah. She a was biatch, a bitch, as they say in the streets. Yeah, she would keep me up until one in the morning because she'd go, "I'm a bitch, I'm a lover, I'm a child." <laughs> I got a fart. <laughs> that was terrible. <laughs> oh, there's oh, more. Come on, that one might have got a little. <laughs> but that wasn't like a rip. That was a. <laughs> I was pushing. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I haven't farted in um five years. Maybe that's why your styes are coming up. It's just all that gas bubbling. What if secretly Actually, Patty just wanted to do that so his hand could smell like my fart? So he goes, I don't think it's a secret. Oh, I, yeah. I oh yeah. Um, oh, it smells like the inside dude, of you. No, other people's farts don't do it. For, I love the smell oh, of my farts own farts. Who doesn't? Isn't dude. that an interesting thing? 
Yeah, it's because like what is it? It's a chemical. It's a chemical breakdown of waste, and then it's it it gets passed out of your body in like the most efficient, fun way possible. And we're like, thank you, body. Oh, you broke down my way so good. Yeah, it is beautiful. Yeah. God has a better sense of humor than all of us. Have yeah. you ever sharded yourself? Of course. Um, no, but when I was a kid, I uh, I pooped in a medicine cup. Uh-huh. Uh, Are you talking about like a prescription bottle? Yeah, like a little... Like a pill bottle? I just pinched a little one off in the cup, and I immediately was like, why did I do this? Did it <laughs> land in the cup? Yeah, dude. Right you have to poop that little that all of it got in the cup i just like started the train and then you stopped, stopped the train because i was like i don't think this is uh i was in my bedroom okay yeah and then i ran to the bathroom you with the poop in the over. cup and i tried to throw it in the toilet and it just oh. right on the toilet seat that's oh a no bad choice dude yeah. that's a bad choice dude you gotta experiment when you're a child of course, of course. did you ever like poop into toilet paper in your hand and then so you could squish the poop um, poop into to <laughs> so you put toilet paper on your hand and then you poop on the toilet paper and then you wrap it up and you think that's relatable? <laughs> like you're trying to you the way you said it, you were like, yeah, man. You ever just like do it? So I you felt can, so, so you can squish the toilet paper. No, you squish the poop in the toilet paper because it's squishy. It's I don't. Fun. I don't need to poop directly into the toilet paper to squeeze the poop in the toilet paper. I have so much on it when I wipe. No, it's not the same. You like. <laughs> When you have a full, are you okay? Yeah, I'm great. You like don't let it Dude, hit the toilet. Your no, poops are you too like big. Your poops are too big to log it up in a piece of toilet paper. You it get, doesn't like, an industrial have to be set. big. Like you just you take a little bit and then you play around with the shit and you're like, oh, this is so squishy. And then yeah, you yeah. I'm gonna pull the old news from bed veto on that one and say that's a no go. You guys have no idea what having an ostomy bag is like. Of course I don't. No, I do not. <laughs> Honestly, I thought you did. No, wait, what's a veto? A veto. A like no. you're saying I can't talk about that anymore? I'm just going to say that's the wrong choice. Well, I was like... Well, you. so did you have the wrong choice. Yeah, with your I was like shit. six years old. I was also six. Oh, how, okay. How you were, were you, you did I'm that sorry, after when six. I picture, the way yeah, you yeah, said it. Yeah, yeah. When I, was, I picture I you way ten. Say, I was ten. <laughs> you were older than ten. You were twelve. I was fourteen. You were sixteen. You were sixteen. It was last week. Yeah, Fuck. You did that recently. I know for a fact that you've done that more than once. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. that's the difference is I did my thing, immediately mm. learned my lesson. Your thing is worse, though. Yeah, your thing was way worse. How is it way worse? You're pooping Mine directly into a cup in your room. Yeah, it was yeah, medical. I mean, that's it was dirty. Like it's not medical because you use a cup from and you Dixie. Didn't, you didn't, yeah, but it was you, measured. Yeah, but you, you didn't study you. the poop. You were just like, oh, I pooped I in a cup. I did study it. I looked and I said, holy <laughs> I looked God. and I said, I shouldn't have done this. <laughs> <laughs> this study is not conclusive. <laughs> Dude, oh, man, Ooh. I've shit my pants on a road trip once. Yeah. Yeah. How early in? In the parking lot? No, man. We were like five hours in, and I was holding it for like an hour. And then as I see the gas station, I just unload. And uh, as I'm like walking to the gas station and just leaving little shit trails behind me. Mm. And mm. then my yeah. my brother, like Sorry. my brother's, <laughs> as soon as I go in, I have to shit more. And there's just shit all over this tiny gas station. I'm sorry. You said Boy. you were leaving shit trails behind you. Were you not wearing pants or underwear? <laughs> yeah, or were I you was wearing pajama bottoms. Out? I was pajama wearing... bottoms? Yeah. So pants. Yeah, a thin pant, but it was Your going... Your went yeah. through the pants? Yeah, no, well, pajama bottoms, the their legs are like those tunnels that dogs not run their through. Their fleece pajamas. <laughs> yeah, I guess. The fleece you could, could do, it's... Go to not the Alfani section of Macy's. Do, it's not <laughs> shit yourself. What? That's what I would have said. Dude, this, uh, okay. is like, this is a success. This is unbelievable. What does that mean? The no, the, the only way this, pod, this podcast, the determination of if it's good or bad is if we can get you to Ari do Kaplan. a Blue Angel on. <laughs> All right, well, you guys talk so I can prepare. Right. Yeah, prepare. Dude, I miss farting, man. Farting was a, as, a, as a comic, you know. I think yeah. it's the funniest thing in the world. Also, hey, I'm Kiwi. <laughs> Kiwi, let's go back to that, so my baby boo. Why can't you fart? Uh, because I don't have a colon. Like air doesn't come out in the way that you don't like, have a colon. 
No, you didn't know that. No, Probably wait. My when last you said when you said I didn't know that either. When you said a colostomy bag, I thought you were talking about like so. You have a colostomy bag. I used to come I used out to. of the colostomy bag. You know what I'm saying? You used to <laughs> shit through a bag. Yeah, man, for three years. You didn't what? know that. You, you, you knew this, huh? No, you should try no, you a medicine did. cup. It's very measured. So you were squishing your poop all the time too. <laughs> yeah, but I didn't want to. Yeah. Oh, it's this a choice. Is, this is ableism. How did you? Did you ever hook up with someone when? And you Hell yeah, like, baby! I had my ex girlfriend. Asshole sewed up. Uh, it was. Uh, it was disconnected from the rest of my stomach. The intestines were disconnected. But now it's reopened. It's reopened. It's reconnected. But I don't have enough control to fart. I was talking to another guy who had my <laughs> surgeries, and he was like, "Yeah, man, you're not going to be able to fart." And I was like, "What? That sucks. Are you sure?" And he just goes. I wouldn't risk it. <laughs> you lost the ability to fart? So I can pass gas on the toilet, but if I do, I'll probably have poop come out as well. Okay. That is so fucking sad. sad. Which that is, is sad, sad, man. Yeah, among other oh, things. Oh, man. Farting is one of it's my one of great the, joys in life. It's one of the uh, only joys. Yeah, dude. It's, it's one of the only joy. true roots of happiness yeah, other than a golden retriever. Oh, so man. Funny. I'm also a golden retriever guy. I yeah. Love golden retriever. Golden retriever and farts, dude. Oh, man. It's all you need. Just like, farting while petting a golden retriever. Well, that retriever's farting too. Oh, oh my god, dude! Yeah. Dude, a dog. I actually kind of like a dog. Don't fart. pay too good of a picture. I'll try to jump through. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you ready? Oh. Okay, come on, denim, please. News from bed. Oh. It's so close to. Is your asshole hot? <laughs> You're like on his balls. I can like. That looks so hot, dude. You put it like inside him. I'm trying to think of where. The... You're like in the hole. I think maybe save it till the end of the episode because if we Did keep nothing happen, nothing. No, happened. I, I, I keep on anything. coming out like tiny little bubbles. <laughs> the flame went like. <laughs> 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 I want to be known as a serious guy. I want to be taken. Not, yeah, this will do it. This will definitely this isn't do, gonna it. do it. No way. If you ever, <laughs> this will get you booked. This will get me booked. Yeah, this will get you booked. Probably not at the tiny cupboard, but uh, dude, speaking, I've of... never gone up at the tiny oh, cupboard. Do you have? Some? Oh, so you suck. What? <laughs> you suck. Yes, I suck, <laughs> Kiwi. What were you gonna say? Well, <laughs> <laughs> speaking of getting booked, I have two weeks off of uh, work starting. You know, Friday is my last day. We have a two week vacation. So I'll be back, you know, on the scene. I definitely love to uh, come by, you know, the late night show sometime. For it's sure, show. we oh. don't have the late night show until the second week of yeah. January. Yeah, yeah. Is that okay? Yeah, absolutely. You'll still be off. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, When's I your have next week and the week after? The first week of January, and last week of December. But we're the second week of January. This is our late night show? Yeah. So, so I thought right. it was the first week of every month. <laughs> no. The first Wednesday of every we month. We were going to do that, but we were like, oh, not enough people will be back. Uh, Whatever. I'll be back. Well, all right. Well, either way. Yeah, I'll see you. Maybe I you'll see, me, point. see yeah. me somewhere. I mean, I'll still, I guess I'll still come through. Yeah, come through. Yeah, no, still, it'll be fun. I've still. been bombing on those like crazy. It's good. It's good. It was really fun. Bad. When I did it, it was really fun. That was just the stand up show. There's oh, yeah. Was the late night one had, had a band, the band quit. They quit? Yeah, because But I, they liked my set so much. They did, but I uh I got into a little thing with an audience member. I called a audience a woman. They fat. quit because of that? Well, then she tried to charge the, the stage and throw drinks at me, and I think they were like, "We don't want any pussies." You got to remember yeah. bands are kind of gay. Yeah, no, they no, are. They have drumsticks. That's not Yeah, but they're like they're all like, oh, peace and love, man. You know, it's all. No, you got to find a different band who's yeah. like, I'm doing this to get pussy and nothing else. Yeah. yeah well, that's every band. band. But no, just find one other band. All right. But what happened is I, I feel like this one is going to be show. good. Yeah, it's going to be good. It'll be fine. No, I mean this fart. fart. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> let me know. Oh, <laughs> so close. This is such a lost cause. You got to stop letting out the little ones, dude. Hold all of them for a big one at the end. Yeah, yeah. Think you got to stop releasing work. the valve. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do some air intake. There's exercises you can do to create farts, I think. Are there? Is that what Kegels no, are for? I don't think so. I don't know. Okay, vamp. Oh, look at that back. <laughs> Jeez. Milk white. <laughs> Just milk in general. What are you, where are you going? <clears throat> He's doing a fart thing. He's getting something for his farts. Okay. 
Yeah, man. Thanks for having me. Yeah, I'm glad you guys are here. What other yeah. uh what other movies uh have you seen lately? Oh my god, the holdovers. I heard that was great. <laughs> Who'd you hear it from? Um who did I hear that from? Someone who's like not in the comedy world said it was great. Was it you? It was you. It was you. <laughs> and he's, he's in the comedy world. I'm in the comedy world. Oh, dude, I thought it was like someone else. It was only So what is you. that? So what do you think about me then? I thought You don't think someone... I'm a part of the comedy world? No, because I couldn't remember who it was. So I was like, oh, it's no. probably one of my non-comedy friends. Well, it I'm was very good. And it was... Dude, it was amazing. Yeah, I, I so want to see that again, actually. Oh, it's so Paul beautiful. Paul Giamatti. Dude, it was so Paul good. Giamatti. Paul. You mean to tell me <laughs> that I've been blue my entire <laughs> life? <laughs> remember that movie? I that love that movie. Liar? Yeah, yeah. Oh, movie. man. Marty Wolf. Reporting for duty. <laughs> I'm not, it's pretty good, right? Pretty good, yeah. Mr. Binky! <laughs> he lives on my block, Paul Giamatti. Wow. On street, yeah. He has really? a nice Asian wife. Very pretty. She's not that pretty. Okay. But she's nice. I don't know if she's nice either. He has a, he has a wife. A lot of times... Is another egg? Yeah. Oh, you're eating a hard <laughs> Oh, this is going to do it. Ew. This is I just don't want to peel it on your bed. How well, well you're like it? squeezing it, yeah. <laughs> but I do want to squeeze it on your bed. <laughs> well, I'm not going to lose any of the, I'm keeping tracks of all the little pieces. Dude, this is the most annoying. I do this every single morning to get the proper balance of peeling it, but keeping all the egg on. Oh, the man. Worst thing in the when world. you lose it, don't act like egg. you know. No, 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 I know, I know. You feel like you're like an archaeologist, like... <laughs> <laughs> Clearing the bones. It feels like I'm cracking a skull. Yeah. Well, yeah, well you kind of, you're cracking a hole. Very, does that remind you of the little rabbits who used to squeeze a little too tight? Uh, they were so cute. I'd just be like, oh, oh. Is that a movie reference? No, it's Lenny. I don't think so. What? Oh, Lenny from Of Mice and Men. Was that what mice you were going for? No. Who is Because he did that with the rabbits. He squeezed them too tight. Oh, yeah. Of Mice and Men. That wow. You made a Duck literary season. reference without even realizing. Yeah, yeah. dude. You're smart, man. Yeah. Sign back really... for you. Are you nervous dude, about this date? One time I wrote uh, <laughs> one of Dave Chappelle's bits on accident. I think. What do you mean? I wrote this bit and then I watched his special killing them softly and it was on the special. What was the bit? The baby one? It was about the monkey with AIDS. Oh yeah. And I was like, uh, it's not that surprising that someone fucked a monkey and got AIDS. It's more surprising that they fucked a monkey and then fucked a human after. <laughs> like that they were able to do that. Classic. Dude. And his was way better. His was like, how are you going to fuck a monkey and then get AIDS? And then. He's like, you, you, you mean you fuck a monkey on Tuesday and then Shireen on Friday? <laughs> See how much funny that Shireen. is? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Shireen. Dude, um, can I share my joke with you guys? For I sure. Tell you. I want to share both of you guys. So what's a, what what's an owl's favorite song? Uh, uh, all I want to be, all I, all I want to do is you. No. Um, who let the dogs out? <laughs> is it? Fuck. Yeah, it is. <laughs> Wait, is it really? Oh, I, well, the answer is. Who let the dogs out? Who, 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 who? <laughs> but you, I can't believe you got that. Why? That's not that. I tr Did you write that? Yeah. Oh, I tried it on some kids earlier. They loved it. I <laughs> thought it was going to be the Hootie and the Blowfish. Who? That's a band. Yeah. Well, both of those would have worked. Yeah. All I want to do is you. <laughs> you and me, we come from different worlds. Uh, I actually, I also... Uh, I have an owl joke if you'd like to hear it. Dude, so many owl jokes, I do want to hear it. Yeah. Uh, Wait, but when he says it, we have to laugh like an owl. Yeah. <laughs> How do owls laugh? Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. Yes. So uh, ooh. recently in the bedroom, I've been using uh, the Tootsie Pop owl move when I'm going down on a woman. A one, a two, a three. Then you do the head thing. <laughs> How many Ow. licks to the center of the labia? The world one. would never know. <laughs> Dude, and then here's one. This is a great one, but turns out it's already taken by a lot of people. Uh, so, like, smart owls be like, whom? <laughs> yeah. That was pretty good. That's pretty that good. One. Yeah, that's good. I can't believe I didn't come up with that. I know. That's a, that's a, that how was has, right there. How has nobody come up with that? That was dangling. Ever, how has everybody come up with that? Yeah. 
I, yeah, what, have you ever written a joke to him that has Shit. been written before? Uh, the first time I got on stage, actually, I had this whole joke about how, like, uh, I don't understand uh, how it was. It was basically like abortion. Everyone cares about abortion, but like no one cares that like I, I come all the time into tissue papers and then put it underneath yeah. my my like girlfriend's pillowcase yeah that seems way worse for the sperm <laughs> yeah that? and then someone's like lenny bruce wrote that <laughs> i'm like really but that's pretty good your first joke is a lenny bruce joke yeah, yeah man that's pretty good he was the greatest stand-up of all time that do you want to hear this joke i wrote recently mm-hmm um this guy was telling me that he thinks uh, black people look like monkeys. And uh, I was like, that's just wrong. That's not, first of all, it's wrong. Second of all, it's extremely racist to say that because they don't. Um, <clears throat> but with that being said, <laughs> monkeys do look a lot like black people. <laughs> <laughs> that's a racist joke. That's Wait, racist. that's your joke? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're really good at writing racist jokes. I know I can't. I can't transition into the uh, the clean ones. Although I did have a joke last week on news from bed that you guys might like, mm -hmm. or two weeks ago. You heard it. It's Maybe the, it's the Florence P one. Oh, I love that one. It's, Wait, uh, let me let me cue up. <laughs> this is news from bed. <laughs> uh, Police are trying to figure out what object it was that hit Florence Pugh in the face during a Dune 2 panel. Uh, after watching the movie, I think it's safe to say it wasn't an Oscar. Oh, yeah, that's great. <laughs> it's not bad. Nothing like repeating a joke yeah. on uh, the podcast. How are you doing with that egg? You haven't. I got you a Ferrero that. Rocher, too. That was oh, mine. Yeah. Oh, that's yours? Yeah, oh. that's denim's. Oh, this is denim's. What's yeah. good is the Ferrero shape. Diet. Should I save her for Wonka? Yes. Yeah, that's good for Wonka. And you should indulge whenever they go. Mm -hmm. when, <laughs> you got to know one thing about this movie. Should I get a lot of chocolate? Yeah, you should. Yeah, you should. Yeah, you should get a lot of chocolate and just sit in the front row with no clothes on <laughs> <laughs> and just have Actually. chocolate all over your body. <laughs> I was thinking, walking out, my face is just covered in chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good movie. <laughs> I cried. <laughs> Dude, the mmms are so good. The acting. Can you stop yes. fucking ruining this movie for me? <laughs> I just want to tell you that I enjoyed it. Yeah, they were the best characters. Dude, those the villains? Are you kidding? Hey, what's the so TV? Good. What's a movie you want to see recently that you haven't seen? Um, well, I mean, there's a few. There's a <laughs> name few. Them. Why don't you name <laughs> them? Oh. 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 <laughs> Dude, Mr. Bean's face when you eat the chocolate. Goes, Shut the fuck up. Do you do you have you ever watched Passion of the Christ and been like yes Jesus Jesus dies <laughs> Jesus dies I know what I know what happens in Passion of the Christ I haven't watched it because Mel is like you know yeah he's not the he's best black, he's blacklisted <laughs> yeah much much to his dismay you know do it's you like interesting Kanye? in Passion of the Christ I, mean, I love his music in Passion of the Christ Mel Gibson is the one you see his arms hammering the nails into the, mm. really into Jesus's hands mm. yeah how is it. That's straight from Slughorn. That's a Wonka reference. <laughs> <laughs> Is your willy going Wonka? Mm. Dude, did you see Christian sketch? He he acts as Christian Conte. He acts as Willy Wonka. He goes to the M and M store dressed as Willy Wonka. And he's like, "What's with these prices?" <laughs> he's like, he goes, "I can't believe this. I'm a Karen. I don't want this." <laughs> and he's dressed as Willy Wonka. The people are stopping they, him for photos. The M and M employees love it. They're just like laughing. He's like, "What is this? What? What? Why are you filming? What is this?" <laughs> That's so funny. So fun. I never. I'm never in that area in New York. What is M and M store? I avoid yeah. the the area on purpose. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Great transfer at the Times Square. You can transfer to a lot of stations. Very good transfer. Shit. Mm, I shouldn't have had that chocolate. Mm. Speaking of uh, transfer, let's transfer over to this topic. I was thinking, because I'm a Catholic, and you're a Jew, and you're a... Uh, a Christian. A Christian. <laughs> and we Christians and Catholics believe in heaven, mm -hmm. and we believe that we have to be good to people on earth. Or else we 
burn in hell for eternity. Do you believe that? Well, here's why I don't. Because I think if you're nice to people, because you think if you're not, you're going to burn in hell, then you're not actually nice. Yeah. I think you have to not believe that hell exists mm. to actually be a good person. Well, this is my belief. Um, and you guys can call me gay if you want. It will hurt my feelings, but you have the ability to. But if you do, you're going to hell. Um, I believe that heaven. Well, actually, you'd be going to hell because like I just threatened hell on you. <laughs> yeah, that's well, pretty. The implication is because you're a gay guy. I'm not a gay guy. But that was the joke. But, but <laughs> are you guys calling me gay? No, it's a big. No, but. I don't want to send you to hell. Yeah. yeah see, I mean, he'll get this joke eventually. <laughs> what? Oh, go on. <laughs> yeah, finish. No, I think... I think... <laughs> finish. <laughs> oh! Literal. Uh, <laughs> what was I even going to... Okay, just let me get to this point. It's really hard for me to speak. So, I think heaven and hell is a mindset. I think it's either serenity, peace of mind, or hell is just completely consumed by the ego, and you're so self-focused that you can't look around and smell the roses. Yeah, mm, yeah, that's a more Jewish way to look at it because it's like here on Earth, you know. But Jews do also think about like I thought like a the, Jewish way to look at it was like through one of those little things, a, monoc <laughs> a monocle. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so there isn't a hell after all. No, it's a it's a diamond appraisal tool. <laughs> I oh. love doing my Jewish voice. My Kiwi is like. <laughs> Hey, can I do my best Jewish voice for you? I always think this thing is funny when you do it on somebody else's collar. Like you say something racist and you're like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Yeah. Anyway. No, but we do believe, like, there is hell in Jewish mysticism and stuff. There's not, that's kind of a myth that the after, there's no afterlife. What is all. it, a deli that's out of pumpernickel bagels? <laughs> I said my piece. All right. <laughs> pumpernickel. I the thought worst Jews kind. didn't believe in hell. I thought they, they believed really. in heaven. It's less clear than it is for Christians. But it is I like that about the Jews. They're kind of like, we don't know. Yeah, like, it's it all could kinda, be. It's like, do you want there to Have be? you seen the movie uh, a seri Very Great Serious movie. Man? Great Have movie. you seen that? It's so good. Great movie. I've seen it thrice. Why do you, know you guys end, ruin the movie? Do you know at the me? end <laughs> when it turns out he's not so serious? <laughs> that is kind of how it turns out. Yeah. No, it's a Coen Brothers flick. Very good. Oh, I like the Coen Brothers. I was shown that by a friend of mine who uh, is very well read. Oh, he's like super dude. He like studies like text, like high school textbooks to like brush For up. Fun. Yeah, that's annoying. Wow, that's pretty annoying. Yeah, <laughs> but that's cool, dude. You guys got to get on fucking Goodreads. Goodreads. I'm I on just, that shit. I just buy all my books like a fucking show. No, it's not about Goodreads you buy, but it's like a social media. Oh, really? For, for literacy. Really? Uh, it's I, awesome, dude. I love to read. Dude, get on it. Yeah, I, but then like everyone who recommended Siddhartha to me, I was like, this you don't book need to read sucks. Siddhartha. You don't need to read Siddhartha. That's what Goodreads you is good. You read Siddhartha you and confused. you didn't like it? I didn't like it. Really? I, thought, I think I recommended it to you. It, a lot of people recommended it. Yeah, and I read deal. it and it was... The whole point is like you're gonna be wrong. Yeah, you're either gonna listen to people who tell give you advice, and you're never gonna truly know why you're following that advice, or you're gonna stray from that advice and then mm. learn the same lesson. Yeah, I I thought it was a beautiful lesson of like the world is going to take you where you're supposed to be no matter what. Yeah, I guess, but I think they could have boiled it down. Was this a, a Buddhist bit. book, or was it just about Buddha? It yeah. was about Buddha. It's written by a German guy, sorry. Uh, it's all right. It's okay. Yeah, These I'm are sorry, nice man. pants, dude. Those are nice. And those are nice calves, man. Do you dance? So, to, uh, har to respond to Patty's point first, thank you. They're dickies. Oh. The calves, yes, they're nice. And yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Anyway, Siddhartha, dude, I've read enough fucking Buddhist books in my day. I don't need that shit. Yeah, you just gotta sit down, shave your head, shut the fuck up. Didn't dude. you love that section, though, when he learns how to be a great lover? There's, Is like, a, a whole book? part of the book? book. No, it's very short. Okay, I didn't like that either. either. I don't like that we make fucking stuff about that's not reproduction. It's good that we turn God no, into good lovers. Like you good only fucks. like reproductive. Like God has a great penis, a great Yeah, that's penis. not fair. <laughs> you... the, only re the only way a God could get to the point that he's like strong enough and powerful enough and ha wants to create a world is if he could never get fucked. You, like, like, nobody who's fucking all the time is achieving like, incel God. So you don't believe <laughs> yeah, you don't yeah. believe in Greek mythology because Greek mythology. Oh, is... do I believe in a woman with snakes for a head? 
Yeah, you've been to you? Williamsburg. Hey. <laughs> Good to see you guys. <laughs> no, I don't believe in Greek <laughs> mythology. <laughs> Poseidon. The so Lord of the Ocean. To, every time I go swimming, there's a guy lording over me. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Under you, making it, sure it, I'm it, safe. His name's not Poseidon, <laughs> dude. And he fu- and he fucks. But that's what I love. Yeah, but he also fucks sea creatures. Snakes. He's the original uh, hentai. Yeah, which is cool. Dude, they all fucked animals. That was the best. Like, Greek mythology is sick because it's just a bunch of dudes being bros. And they, they have unlimited power and they just rape constantly. Get that on record. I don't <laughs> think it's cool. <laughs> wait, wait. I probably shouldn't you laugh. You said being bros and then said rape constantly. I don't want to. said it was great. I don't yeah, I yeah, don't is, think rape is great. This all sounds like things I don't want to be associated I with. I do That's think right. I do think gods are great. Have you ever raped? No. Well I have. I, I've consensually raped. I've I've partaken in rape fantasy. That's the That's worst true. That's you the have. worst party ever. Have you ever raped? I have. Because <laughs> <laughs> I have. Drink responsibly. No, the first time I was with my ex girlfriend, she had no memory of it. Oh rape. Oh. Yeah, that's your. I actually I played right. Poseidon in college and had to rape a girl seven times a night on stage. That's awesome. I actually raped Medusa. Wow, oh, good for you. Mm-hmm. Is that how she became like? Did you tell yeah. her to Medu something about it? <laughs> yeah, I said, "Oh, you ain't Medu shit, Medea." <laughs> Medea, <laughs> Medea gets raped by yeah. Poseidon. Medusa goes to jail. <laughs> Medusa, dude, that I don't think that's. Ra- I mean, yeah, I guess technically it is rape, but like she was, she would have been down. She was your girlfriend. Hopefully, yeah, but she wasn't at the time. It was the first this time. Was the first had time. Sex. Yeah. So what happened? You woke up together, and she was like, "What happened?" She's like, where am I? And she looked and saw me, and she was like, oh, oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> and, and she said, you guys we fuck? dated for four years. We didn't fuck, but we, like, I was, like, trying to. And, uh, oh, but you didn't. But she, yeah, but, like, we did, like, a lot of other stuff. Was she into it, or was she full? <laughs> Listen, dude, it was a foggy night. <laughs> for both of you, yeah. yeah. It was a little, that was back when I was drinking. This is stolen rape Did you valor. feel really bad? Yeah, yeah not, I am stealing rape You're not a real valor. rapist. You're did you feel rapist. really bad? Uh, no, I didn't feel bad at all. I uh, wouldn't like, yeah. I mean, you just lit a cigarette. <laughs> See, my thing is, I always thought, like, I have the same thing with rape as OCD. I I think of what they are as different than what they are. Like, rape, I always thought you had to, like, chase down a woman in the streets yeah. and, like, drag her in an yeah. alley. But it's really just, like, if they say yes with the wrong tone. Yeah, there's levels to it, definitely. Yeah. But then OCD, I always thought was, like, I don't know. When you hear the word obsessive compulsive disorder, it's three words. Yeah, you think of a guy who's gonna like cut off your daughter's head because of the smell of her hair. You know, I don't think about that. I I, I never thought of that <laughs> disorder. <I'm> crazy <laughs> about this, and I'm gonna do something about it. That's like what it is. I think about like washing your hands a million times. You know. Yeah, but that's what it really is. But the name obsessive yeah. compulsive. I actually I know a guy that his OCD is that he hates. Freckles. Mm, he thinks wow, there's blemishes, and he's an Irish guy, so he's covered in freckles. Oh, wow! But oh. if he sees a woman with freckles, like he has to like squeeze his arms, his like fist, because he wants to like scrape off all the fun. No freckles. way! It's yeah. weird. It's a hard life. What's his name? It's a hard knock life. What's his full name? Annie. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Annie. <laughs> Dude, um, I have OCD for sinks. <laughs> for sinks? Yeah, you heard me. What you, what white boy? <laughs> what do you mean? Get out. Get out of the bed. <laughs> okay. Get off my bed, Patty. Dude, uh, you know when uh, you turn the sink off, like you put it down to turn the water off? Yeah. yeah. I do that like a billion times. Oh, really? To make sure the water's off, yeah, because I don't oh, want to wow. waste water. Do you ever count in your head? Sometimes I do. Yeah, it's like hundreds. I also have it for my alarm. You know, like how you look at your alarm to see that it's like the time you want. Yeah. I look at it like I close my phone. I'll look do at that. It, look at it. I do it for like minutes. Yeah. It's not OCD, but I do it a lot. But Are I know you, that's not OCD. You're like that with time too, right? You show up on time to everything. That's a new thing, but it's just grand. I'm like that big time. You, you seem like a time guy. I, I'll get to a place 15 minutes early and just be standing. And like when you're just standing outside of a place, you so many people are like looking at you like, what are you? Yeah, doing? it sucks, dude. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I hate you. being late though. I hate yeah. it. Oh, do you? 
Wow, how bad do you hate it? Yeah, it could have fooled me. I hate it enough that I spent fucking twenty dollars to do this shithole podcast. That was, nice of you, though. that was very that was nice. Very kind of you. Yeah, wait, do do we not get paid for this? Should you we, got a Ferrero, got a Ferrero Rocher, Rocher and yeah. an egg, and you got a little bit of jerky. Yeah, and I got that delicious treat. We're also gonna yeah. shave you. Oh, my beard for free. <laughs> oh, all right, all right, milk. <laughs> Harvey. <laughs> Harvey's the name, dude. Um, Have you seen Harvey Milk? Spoiler, he hit. Spoiler, I got my dad that movie for his birthday. I was calling him gay. Are you are you spoiling milk? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna spoil milk for you. He has he sex and then he gets shot. In the he head. died of AIDS, right? No, he gets Harvey murdered. Milk? Really? I thought he got murdered by... He didn't have AIDS? No, he gets murdered by a guy who then gets off because he's like, I was eating too many Twinkies. No way. Yeah, that's a real story. That's how... Uh, they, wow. Actually, that's how Matthew Perry died, too. From eating too many Twinkies? Or no, from, from AIDS? Oh, I, from no. getting shot in the head with a guy. Report. From, no way. Toxicology? That's not true. I thought no, it was ketamine. ketamine. Nobody ketamine. gets AIDS anymore, huh? Dude, Dude what a no loser one. way to die from ketamine. That's not... Oh, ketamine's bad, I'm a horse. No. I got tranquilized to death I'm a, I'm a, and no, I'm it's actually, of... It's a horrifying way to die because... Haven't you done ketamine? I have. Have you done ketamine? My dad has. I've done it. I've never done, like enough to like really because you can go into like a k-hole yeah. where your body you're just not in your body you're like so disassociated and your body can't work mm. so he must have died from too much ketamine just like sliding into the hot tub and yeah. he's like aware of what's going on that's tough that's horrifying dude dude, dude being frozen as you drown to death and being a wet feeling at all yeah and oh, knowing man. That your TV show is still running and you could have had more money. Yeah. Made so up. much money. Yeah. yeah. I, uh, what as if soon he was as thinking like Jennifer Aniston, God, if I could only, I could see those nipples one more time. She's, she's not He's all that. definitely seen her naked, right? She's not all that. What are you? Dude, she's Patty's woman, Jennifer Aniston. That's like your idea. You love Jennifer Lawrence. Jennifer Lawrence no. is my. Did you see, one, did you did you see her, you see her naked? Uh, show me Jennifer Lawrence. Uh, did you see her naked fight scene? No, naked I didn't. Fights? I didn't want to ruin it for when I see her naked for the first time, <laughs> naked and fighting me. Do you do you have <laughs> a celebrity that you you secretly mm. think you're going to end up with? Yes, Jennifer Lawrence. Mine is Selena Gomez. Mine is Millie Bobby Brown. <laughs> really, dude? I thought I was. I thought I was Team Millie Bobby Brown too. That's me. Why did you go to my profile? I didn't mean to. It's there. not my fault. <laughs> there she is. She. Oh, she's nice. She's beautiful. <laughs> American Hustle. Nice, nice big ass. No, she's, she's, she's like a nice, very nice, nice looking see. person. Yeah, yeah, she's from you know what I hear? She's got a nice personality, too. Sure, she's got yeah. the best. She's like funny. I That's hear why she's Patty sweet. likes her. I, I love I like a good personality. personality. See, I like I how Selena is. I want to jizz like... all over a personality. No, I like mm. it when they're mean because then you can fuck the mean. See, Selena seems nice, but she also kind of seems sickly. Didn't she get tits? She did. Yeah, she, she gained like a lot of weight and got huge saggy tits. tits. She got them lupus tits. Dude, I love <laughs> fat, those titties loopy lupus. tits. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> those titties crazy. Yeah. They straight lupus. It's straight Damn, up the lupus. Lupus, <laughs> lupus medication makes you into the ideal like uh, sex that. icon. For so that's why my Aunt Simcoe looks so I wanna good. I want to give her. Yeah. I, I want to give her a golden shower. What I'm saying is, I want to lupus all over her. <laughs> well, who's well, your uh, Who's your ideal woman? That I, is. I just said it, Selena Gomez. Matthew McConaughey. Oh. Was it Selena before the tits? Yeah, dude, she got tits put on. Like she must have gotten them. No, done. they're not. No, no, those no, are those all are, those no, are no, no way. I've seen dude. her. In, like, I've seen the, res the lab results. Yeah, she but, didn't have a big tit. Yeah, but she then she got weight. lupus, and the medicine for lupus. Wait, those makes, are lupus no, originals? These are medicinal titties. No, 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 no. She this genuinely is real. has lupus. Has lupus? Yeah, no, she has bad lupus. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. She's got that lupus bad. When did she get lupus? Um, Blue pussy. I, I'm pretty sure she got it from hanging out around too many um, wizards. Wizards. <laughs> yeah, yeah. From hanging out with werewolves. <laughs> oh, dude, I'm sorry to hear that. She's such a nice kid. I got Remus the other day. You got what? Remus? All you got you? Remus all the other day? I got Remus. Yeah. I got Rem. I got a Remus all over my that's face. When I, and that's neck. when I bring a bunch of kids into a room and try to get them to get me out of the closet. <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> Little Bogart <laughs> joke right there. <laughs> yeah, Bogart. <laughs> is, oh, Bogart? Yeah. Did hey, something happen Bogart to there? What if the... Humphrey Bogart came out of that thing? He's that's like, another. Hey, whoa. What hey, I'm going to slap you, woman. <laughs> that's another big penis. 
Humphrey? Yeah. What yeah. about Derek Humphrey? What do you think he's packing? Who's Derek know. Humphrey? A comedian. You brought him up to two people who don't, <laughs> you don't, you don't know, know him. He's no. a really nice guy. Is he funny? Uh, very funny. Really? Yeah, very funny. But oh, he has yo. a big dick. Who do you think Sneaky has a gigantic dick? Ari Kaplan. Yeah, but um, that's not sneaky. Let's try that's to well talk known. about people who aren't in the New York comedy scene, just so other people know. Genuine, the singer. What like? Oh, cele- for sure. Huge I've seen dick. it. I've seen it. You've seen it. Lenny Kravitz. I've seen. I've his seen his heard dick. His huge. Chris insane. Brown, of course. Dude. Chris. I bet Chris I've Rock has a nice dick. No, no. Chris no. Brown. That Chris makes. Rock if you have a dick that big, it's yeah. gonna. Do oh, all in, the rape he's in for you. He's yeah. incredible. No, he's he so doesn't talented. rape. He beats women with his gigantic with his dick. dick. But yeah. after they want to have sex. sex with him. Yeah, but the who, sex is a beating. Who 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 who, who, who is your crush? Jennifer in, Lawrence. Uh, life? Yeah, in comedy. Can you whisper it to us? <laughs> oh, oh, the one that I talked about? Yeah, the one that you talked about the one time and then wouldn't tell me. Do you have a little comedy crush? I kind of. Not really. It's like a very... He's going to tell you. All right, everyone put their mics. <laughs> yeah, I see it. I see yeah. it. You know, oh, that's I, so cute. It's very cute. That's very we've cute. kind of we've because she's you know I don't okay. What do you mean? She's Let's what? not get into this. She's what? Just just put the mic. Somewhere. It's a good podcast. <laughs> she's a little rough around the edges, but I feel like once you get past that, very sweet. Yeah, yeah. Oh, very definitely. Sweet. You you want to like have to like. Win a woman over. That's She's kind of like sure. a feral animal where you have to earn her trust. Yeah. yeah. Which I like. She and I've been nice. leaving sunflower seeds outside for her. Do you still have that crush? Uh, kind of not. It's like... Not as much? I, it's one of those things where I'm like, I can't... I don't want to do anything about mm-hmm. this. Because it's like, I, I don't want to be in the comedy scene. I know people that she's dated. And they're friends of mine. I took a shot with... Uh, with this big, tall, ginger chick who did comedy for the first time in America. She was French. Oh. And uh, I got on stage, and this is how I flirted with her. I'm like, what are you more afraid of, men being predatory or age? Because I'm like, are you a model? And she's like, yeah. And I'm like, are you afraid of time or predatory men? And she said, predatory men. And I said... Oh boy, in 20 years, you're not going to know what, what hit you. You want to go get something to eat? You said That's this to crazy. a woman for the first time. Yes. I'm and sure how it did she too. take it? Sure um, it she didn't understand completely because yeah, she was, she was French. French. Not yeah. even I really understood that completely. <laughs> that was a really like, winding compliment. It wasn't a compliment. Yeah, that's not a compliment it's not at like all. A compliment. No, it's not. It's, it's, a, it it's either you're going to fizzle out into oblivion. Or you'll it's get not or either or. Be raped into it's not either really? or. It's, just, it's interesting to know the psyche of a woman. If she's like, I the immediate threat as a very attractive woman in New York is creepy men for sure. But the more daunting threat is probably time because she has a lot of her worth tied into how she looks, and those are gonna fade out for sure. Yeah. Yeah. And luckily, I want, I want a hot woman worth. that knows that her looks are going to go out because then I know she won't be as conceited. You True. just never move up. Just dump them every five but years. But, Denim, to be fair, like, oh, none of us that? here, aside from Kiwi, have been a hot woman in our lives. No, that's Kiwi, true. of course, coming off the heels of his transition, knows Why would you say like. that? But to be a hot woman, you ha- it must be... I'm tough fucking, to be. I'm not. I'm a hot guy. You like women want humble. this. Women want uh, this yeah, nowadays. I feel it. I yeah, women want this because you have that feminine touch. Because oh. I am a woman. Check it out, dude. The cords there. You're gonna light the fucking. <laughs> Stop. <I'm> gonna... <laughs> Come on. It's another of the same. Come on. They are cute little farts. Do you have they another nice one? Farts. Do you have another one? It was a tiny one. Oh uh, yeah. But let me comment on what Patty just said because I do see myself as something of a woman. Right, I, and having a woman's butt, like I have, like what women in Hollywood aspire to: tall and skinny. And it's not all it's cracked up to be. It's like pretty annoying. You really, can't, yeah, you can't move around. Everything hurts because it's like sharp on you. You know, you'd rather be fat than tall. And I want to be a little more fat, yeah, because you don't look good after all the clothes. You don't like look nice. But you, you get places faster because there's less resistance. I guess so. But men, you know, it's not a comfortable way. And men want a little bit of something, oh, something, some thickness. Yeah, I know? don't like a super skinny woman. No, I like at all. that's why Latinas are probably my favorite. Absolutely, yeah. because they wear their weight so well yeah, on their shoulder. Or yeah. on their sleeve, I guess. Well, on their <laughs> hump. I look okay. for a Latino woman with a bad 
disfigured hump. Like no hump? Beard. Like bo- like bosom or, or like rump? Like my hump. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> my lovely lady hump? Yeah, yeah. Check it out. <laughs> Check it out. Um, I think we're getting close to the end here, boys. Oh, dude, Are I'm we so fizzling out? Are you feeling a fizzle? Uh, a little, but mm-hmm. it's mostly because I don't have faith in the fart. How long have we been going? Yeah. We've been going... For almost an hour and a half. Oh, Let's that's say really an hour really and long. fifteen. Well, yeah. really <laughs> Give me five more minutes because I feel one brewing. We could do five. Uh, we can minutes. do five. This is the hardest in all of podcasting yeah, is when you say minutes. it's going to end and then is, you have to do five. Is the last five last minutes? Well, let me see if I have a good talking point here. I oh, have. Yeah. I have a good talking point. Oh, we never got to sing "Oh Danny Boy." We'll do that next time. Oh, oh I don't know. I gotta Danny learn the Danny Boy. The pipes, the pipes are calling. Okay, back back to heaven. Beautiful. You know how heaven's like From in the clouds? The Did you like the version I sent you? Yeah, it was great. And on the mountain side. I can't, I can't just. The... Oh, Danny boy, I wish you. Trademark were news from bed. A mountain, a mountain who could love a woman. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for sticking around. This has been news from bed. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, jeez. Bye, everybody. Good night.